for my outfit of the day, I am wearing this beautiful rust knit sheer accordion pleated top. I love this top so much. It has this beautiful little gathered neckline. It has accordion pleats all down the front and balloon sleeves. The reason I bought this was originally for the color. It is the most gorgeous color of tomato red, which looks great on my skin tone. The jacket I am wearing is a jean jacket that I got from Forever 21. I love their jean jackets. They are so soft and comfortable and really are priced very well. I'm wearing my same page jeans. These are my favorite jeans. And I'm wearing some of my favorite shoes, my Massimo Cassie combat boots. I love mixing different jean colors together in an outfit. That is the outfit of the day. If I can find any of these items, I will list them in the description box. Now let's get started with the rest of the video. Hey everyone, how are you doing today? It's Marla. Hopefully everyone is doing well. This is just going to be a short video on some products that I purchased that I might have shown you already to let you know how I am liking them or if I still like them. And a couple new things I got like a vitamin C serum, facial brush, a mascara, and a couple things that were sent to me also. I'm going to do the things that I purchased myself first and then I'll follow it up with anything I received from Octoly or from anybody that wanted to send me something to demonstrate on my channel. Let's get started with some products. Did I like them? Did I not like them? And what were they? So I picked up a new vitamin C serum from Amazon. Again, this got great reviews. It's a vitamin C serum by Lily Anna Naturals. It says it contains 20% vitamin C, 5% hyaluronic acid, contains no parabens, no SLS, no SLEs, no petroleum, no phthalates, no artificial color or artificial fragrance. I loved the packaging. I thought the packaging of this was so cute. I haven't opened this one up yet because I'm still using, if I can find it, I'm still using the one by Pure Biology that I talked about. This is vitamin C plus anti-aging serum, which is hyaluronic acid, and it's vitamin C 30%. And you know, in one of my videos I talked about skincare I was keeping and skincare I was going to throw away. I... <laughs> really don't know if vitamin C is doing anything for my skin. I may be actually going down the Dr. Dre route, but I still like the way it feels on my skin, so I'm still going to keep using vitamin C for now. I just still like it, and I love hyaluronic acid, so because they're combined, I get a little bit of both. Mm, I still want to keep using it. That is something I'm still going to be using. Another product I got is this Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. I saw several people rave about this mascara. It has a wand that looks like this. I used this several times. I have it on today. It's okay. However, I don't like it as much still as my L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It doesn't give me the volume that the L'Oreal Lash Paradise does. To me, it looks just like a regular mascara. Nothing either way. I don't notice it doing anything major. Would I repurchase it? No, I would not repurchase it. I still would purchase again my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise, but only in the water proof that seems to not smear on me at all. This doesn't flake on me either. Between these two, the wand on this was fine. I found nothing wrong with the formula really in itself, whether it being too wet or too dry. It's just performance wise on my, I have puny, puny lashes. Performance wise on my lashes, I need something that gives me both volume and length. And that is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. This one still wins out in my personal eyelash book. Another thing I don't know if I talked to you about or not already is this more Esalen IPX7 Thermal Sonic Facial Brush. You can't see it with my light here. I have two desk lamps shining on my face so my iPhone can videotape me. I'll give you a close up of me using this. I love this brush. And you know what I love about it? I love the design of it. It has a great design where it can get into this area and this area of my nose. It doesn't have bristles. It just has those little silicone nubs that almost feel like they're giving me a massage. All you have to do is plug it into a USB port to charge it. It stands upright on its own. The device is 100% waterproof. I got mine off of Amazon. It has a sealed charging port 
poured so that you can actually use it in the bath or shower without damaging the device. It has both a pulsation and a heat up mode, which is so cool. You can ramp it up, you can ramp it down. You can give yourself a T-zone facial so you can remove dead skin or any dirt. You can even give yourself a thermal facial massage. It has a heat up mode. In the pulsation and heat up mode, it has a built-in heating system that will gradually warm up the raised dots that are on the wand and then keep them under close to your body temperature. And that's supposed to help open your pores completely while the actual wand is massaging the skin. I love that. That is probably the most favorite facial cleansing systems that I have had so far. It beats my Clarisonic and it beats every other silicone little nubby facial system I've used. I am head over heels in love with that. I love the way it fits my face and it gets in all the nooks and crannies. I love the way it feels like it's massaging my face. I love the way it feels kind of more antiseptic. I don't know if that's the word for it than other bristle brushes because all those little nubs dry. I can wash it with soap and water and then it completely dries in between. I just am head over heels in love with that. So that was a great purchase. Yes, I do still love that. Another thing I got off of Amazon are these seven days mask set. What I like about this, it has a variety of masks in here. So I can kind of test out to see if I like any of them. It has a green tea mask, a pomegranate mask, a tea tree mask, an aloe mask, a lemon mask, an avocado mask, and a hydrating bamboo water mask. So I gave these masks a dry run and they weren't my favorite. There wasn't anything wrong with them. I just prefer the masks I have from Morgan Miller, Maskology, and some of the ones from Patchology so much better. I would have to say for these masks, I didn't like them. Something else I really liked that wasn't that expensive was this Cover Girl. Cover Girl, what is your name? And then they put it in such tiny print that you can't read it anyway. I don't know. It's a Cover Girl gloss and it looks like this. And I'll give you an up close picture of it and what the actual swatch looks like. I really, really like this Cover Girl gloss as a topper. I have it on right now. I like it because it gives my lips just a little bit of gloss. There's no sparkle involved. It doesn't really add much color. It makes any matte lipstick just look a touch glossy. It really doesn't have any smell. If anything, it's kind of pleasant, like a very, very, maybe very, 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 very mild baby powder scent, but that's about all I'm getting. That's what my mind's registering. Somebody else may smell something different, but it's, there's hardly any scent to this at all. I really like the way these go on because it's very adherent to my lips. I can't stand glosses that are really kind of greasy looking, oily looking. I like glosses that really stick to my lips, and this one doesn't feel sticky at all. It just feels really good on my lips. It feels very moisturizing and hydrating. And I'll show you what this looks like on bare lips also so you can get a feel for it alone in case you're just a gloss person that just wants to add a little bit of color to your lips. And I will do that right now. I have my pretty red lipstick on and I'm going to put some of the CoverGirl gloss on top of it and it's going to transform it, make it look just a touch lighter in shade but much glossier. I just like the look of it. It makes my lips look nice and wet. It just transforms any lipstick that I have that I want to just add a little bit more of a pop of sparkle. And I got this facial cleansing paper. I know I saw Monica McGillicuddy talk about this, I think. And they asked if they wanted to send this to me. Oh, and everything you've seen so far, I bought myself. This is the first group of things that I was sent. And I think it's called Eliza, Eliza Cleanser. It looks like this. I'll give you a close-up of it. It says it's a three-in-one facial cleansing paper. There's supposed to be 50 sheets in here. It's for normal, oily, combination, dry, or sensitive skin, so it's for anybody. It says it's a revolutionary three-in-one cleanser and makeup remover that gently purifies and hydrates the skin, leaving it gorgeously soft and clean. It's free from artificial fragrances and colors, no gluten, and no ethanol alcohol. Eliza three-in-one facial cleansing paper will transform the way you wash 
wash your face. It says place one to three cleansing sheets in the palm of your hand, moisten with water and gently rub together until melted into a silky foam. Gently apply the foam to your face in circular motions, rinse with water and pat dry the skin. So I know Monica was talking about the way she travels, that this would be great for her. She could, you know, go into a bathroom somewhere and not have to worry about carrying a cleanser in her purse that could potentially leak. You could just take these papers in with you. And then when you go into a restroom or let's say you're traveling across country and you stop at one of those side rest stops and you wanted to refresh your face, you could take a couple of these out, go into the bathroom, moisten it and clean your face and then rinse and dry. Let me show you how these work. I think this is kind of a cool idea as long as it does, you know, refresh in my face. We'll see how well it removes my makeup. I'll try to remove the makeup I have on right now and I'll let you know what my final thoughts are when I'm actually testing this out for the first time, which is right now. I will also leave their information in the description box in case anybody's interested in looking up these facial cleansing papers. I love how these Eliza sheets come. They come in this nice little compact. So all you have to do is throw this compact in your purse and you can then use the sheets to clean your face. So I'm going to take two sheets out of here, wet them and wash my face and I'll let you see how well the Eliza actually can clean off my makeup. So I open the compact. It's like almost like my foundation cushion compact. There are the sheets. I am going to get two of those out and they just look like little discs. I have two of them. I'm going to wet them and then the next thing you'll see me doing is wash my face. I don't have anybody that can film me doing this right now, so you're gonna have to kind of bear with me. I used two of the sheets, I wet them. I had a full face of makeup on, mascara. I'm really surprised at how much kind of foam I got from only using two sheets. I had a full face of makeup on with very dark lipstick. So I washed my face, tried to get all my mascara off. I'm just pretending that I'm in a restroom or something trying to wash my face, maybe at a rest stop or camping. And now I'm just going to dry it. You know, honestly, other than my, my lipstick, there we go. I'm pretty shocked. I'll be honest with you. I had a full face of makeup on. I had my L'Oreal Lash Paradise on, which is usually the waterproof one, which is usually very hard to get off. It took off everything. It took off my liquid lipstick with only two sheets. I'm pretty impressed. I gotta say that for anybody that wants a convenient way to bring a cleanser with you, the little compact, that Eliza compact is great for travel. If you like to freshen your face up when you're traveling or anytime you might need to wash your face and don't wanna bring all the cleansers and everything with you, what a great way to travel. I just am so impressed at how clean it got my face. That's the thing that's shocking me right now because it took off makeup that even my regular makeup remover has a hard time getting off. So I want to thank that company so much, Eliza Naturals. I will put their information in my description box and it actually did such a great job of removing all my makeup. And finally, I received two skincare products that I asked specifically for from Octoly. They're both from Skin Diva, which is a company I've never used before. One is a vitamin C and E serum with ferulic acid in it. It's a 20% vitamin C and E serum. So I thought that'd be kind of fun to test that out, let you see what the serum looks like, how they package it. And then the other one from Skin Diva is a 100% pure hyaluronic acid from Skin Diva that's supposed to plump and restore your skin. I'm always game for new skincare products, testing them out, especially from companies that I've never tried before. Let's get started with Skin Diva Vitamin C and E with Ferulic Acid Serum and their 100% Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So Skin Diva is a new company for me. I've never dealt with them before. I've never tried any of their products before. And let me just read a little bit to you about the company in case you're not familiar with them. It looks like they're based out in Los Angeles, California. They have a full line of natural preservative and paraben free skin serums that are anti-aging, they're moisture rich, and they also have preventative properties for 
of the skin. Their main claim is they have natural, effective, high quality beauty serums at affordable prices. And I'm always in for that affordable prices because some of these serums are ridiculously insane. <laughs> some of the prices, especially vitamin C, where I'm kind of just testing out how my skin reacts to vitamin C and what it can really do for me. I really don't want to spend $60 on a vitamin C serum. It says that they're powerful on your skin, yet gentle on your wallet. Every Skin Diva product is made without the use of any parabens, any fillers, any artificial fragrances, or synthetic dyes. They say they're made with the finest ingredients. This one that I'm looking at right now, the vitamin C serum, I'm assuming all the line is vegetarian. It's a non-GMO, and it's also cruelty free. I think that's great. You know, sometimes it takes so much research sometimes to find out if a product is cruelty free. I love when I see a cruelty free product and they have the little bunny on it and it lets me know that they did not harm any animals, which is always something I strive to do, but I still am on the fence about certain products that I really, really like to use. That's what makes it tough for me. And I know that's not a good way to be, but I'm trying. I'm trying to go to the to the good side, not to be on the dark side. And they're cruelty-free, vegetarian, made in the USA, which is nice, and they're non-GMO. So the first product I'm gonna look at is the Skin Diva 20% Vitamin C plus E Ferulic Acid Serum. This says it's a super antioxidant that neutralizes free radicals. It's supposed to brighten and even out the skin tone. And let's see what this looks like inside. The storage is to recommend in a cool, dry place. It comes in a nice dark bottle to help protect the vitamin C serum. Vitamin C serums, as you know, are supposed to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, it's supposed to smooth and plump the skin, help with dark spots and help reduce them. It's supposed to provide very intense hydration and it's supposed to brighten and even out the skin tone. And I believe this product is $24.99. That is great. I don't wanna crack this open yet. I would like to get a chance to use the entire bottle, which could take me a couple months maybe to get through this whole thing. I will report back to you. I've heard great things about Skin Diva. I've heard a lot of YouTube people that I respect talk about Skin Diva products and how much they like them. I'm looking forward to cracking this bottle open once I get finished with my other vitamin C serum. This is again the Skin Diva 20% vitamin C plus E with ferulic acid serum and it is $24.99. The other serum that I have is their Skin Diva's 100% Pure Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This is supposed to plump, hydrate, and restore skin. It also has moisture enhancing treatment. This product has powerful hydrating and moisturizing ingredients that hold up to 1,000 times its weight in water. It helps diminish fine lines and wrinkles. It helps increase collagen synthesis and facilitates skin healing. The big pluses for this one are it's non-greasy, it dries fast, fast and clear. It's natural and paraben free. It has more actives and less chemicals and it's the highest concentration available of hyaluronic acid. The price on this product is, I don't see the price on this product. If I can find it, I will list it right down here. It's not on the paperwork that I was sent. I am very interested in trying both of these products out. If you open the box on the hyaluronic acid. The bottle on this is just this clear bottle and it says apply two to three drops to fingertips and smooth onto cleansed skin morning and night. I'm actually going to try this right now because I don't have a hyaluronic acid serum that I currently use. So I'm going to take this out. It's clear serum. Ooh, I like it because it's not super, super runny. So I can put it on my skin and I have a chance to rub it in without it going all the way down my skin. There's no scent to it at all, which is nice. And that is the 100% serum from Skin Diva. Feels good on, does not feel greasy. Feels like it's absorbing right into my skin. So far, so good. I will let you know how this goes. As I've said before, for me, it really takes a lot of use to really know how much I like a brand, how much I like a product, but I love that this is 100% pure hyaluronic acid. It does not burn my skin. My skin is pretty tough, but this doesn't burn my skin at all. And I love hydration. I just think hydration for older skin is the best 
anything you can do to make your skin look younger or plumping it up, anything you can do to plump it up and at reasonable prices, which I'm all for also. Those were my two products from Skin Diva, the 100% pure hyaluronic acid that they sent me and the 20% vitamin C and E with ferulic acid. Let you know how these go, but I'm so thankful that I was able to test these out from a company that I've heard so much about. I think that's everything I've gotten um, that's new and that I wanted to tell you about. Uh, summer news, summer things that I've had for a little while and really love and enjoy. That's it for today. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye from Orla.